If you're looking for the best keyboard piano for beginners, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Yamaha YP T26061 Key Portable Keyboard. This lightweight 61 key keyboard is a feature-rich learning tool that hosts an easy-to-use lesson system and auxiliary input for jamming along to your favorite songs. The YP T260 is a relatively compact portable keyboard from Yamaha that's designed with beginners in mind. It features an LCD display, a whopping 400 built-in instrument voices, and nine lesson programs that guide users from learning proper technique to memorizing basic melodies and chords. Its interface is very open-ended and allows users to harness the keyboard's features for their own style of learning, making it a great basic keyboard for becoming acquainted with the layout and feel of a piano. Because the YPT260 is the best keyboard piano for beginners, it lacks features that might appeal to intermediate-level players, like touch-sensitive keys and realistic sounds. It's a great tool for basic learning and for creative experimentation, but if your aim is to become accustomed to the feeling and sound of a real piano, a keyboard with some form of weighted and touch-sensitive keys like the Elise's Recital may be a better choice. Moving on to the next at number two with Elise's Recital 88 Key Digital Piano Keyboard. The Elise's Recital offers a robust emulation of the piano playing experience thanks to its five premium voices and 88 touch adjustable keys. Many beginner keyboards are scaled down to make them easier to store and play, but if you want it to grow accustomed to the size and feel of a standard piano, an 88-key keyboard is the best way to get acquainted without committing to an actual acoustic piano. The Alesis Recital is the best 88-key keyboard for beginners because it performs particularly well at this role thanks to its true size keys, premium sound banks, and user-adjustable key tension all of which are aimed at offering a playing experience as close as possible to that of a standard piano. Beginning pianists will appreciate the recital's ability to operate using 6D batteries for easy mobility and operation in spaces without wall power. It also packs three distinct operation modes that include a lesson mode that splits the keyboard into two identical zones for working alongside a piano teacher. As a bonus, users can connect the recital to a computer via USB and use it to send MIDI information like a dedicated MIDI controller. As an 88-key keyboard, the recital measures 50 inches in width, which may be too large for some spaces. If your space is particularly small, you may want to consider the Recital 61, which offers a similar feature set in a smaller package. One other drawback to the recital's design is its control interface which allows access to all of its lesson features but isn't super intuitive to use. The number three position is held by Novation Launch Key Mini MK325 Mini Key MIDI Keyboard. As the best MIDI keyboard for beginners, it includes beginner versions of Pro Tools and Ableton Live, making it a user-friendly tool for entry-level producers and beat makers. Other unique features of the Launch Key Mini include a dedicated arpigator mode for creating lush textures and unique patterns, an automatic one-touch chord mode for quick recording of musical ideas, and a panel of 16 velocity-sensitive pads for precise beat making. This makes it a great all-around choice for beginners and professional producers alike. But accessing the keyboard's advanced features requires a bit of arcane maneuvering due to its dense, compact design. MIDI keyboards are slightly different from standard keyboards in that they're meant to control sounds within a separate unit, and because of this, they don't include any sounds of their own. If you're a beginner pianist looking for an all-in-one learning solution, a MIDI keyboard is probably not the best first choice since it can't produce any sounds of its own. However, if you're looking to get involved in DAW-based music production or synthesis, the Launch Key Mini sports one of the best feature sets for budding producers. Next at number 4, we have Donner DB20 Beginner Digital Piano 88 Key Full Size Weighted Keyboard. A simple and streamlined user interface, three pedals, and a full bed of weighted keys make the Donner DB20 a great semi permanent fixture for home practice and play. As the best weighted keyboard for beginners, the Donner DB20 offers an accurate piano playing experience in a stylish and understated design without the cost and bulk commonly associated with acoustic pianos making it a good choice for use in homes of beginners and professionals alike. 
It features three zinc alloy pedals that emulate the sustain, dampening, and sostenuto functionality of standard piano pedals, and it includes a sturdy black wooden stand for an elegant finish. Apart from hosting 238 different voices, fully weighted keys, and an onboard recording function, the DP20 also includes a USB port for sending MIDI information, making it a surprisingly flexible unit that holds up in a variety of musical scenarios. Because of its furniture-style design, the DP20 is rather bulky and heavy compared to the other beginner keyboards on this list. This is technically one of its most unique traits, but users who require 88 keys in a portable form factor will be better served by the Alesis Recital. This keyboard also lacks a dedicated lesson mode, so it's up to users or their piano teachers to develop specific lesson plans. Still, it's metronome, and recording functions are helpful learning tools they just require some user control. The number 5 position is held by Casio 44 Key SA7744 Key Mini Personal Keyboard. The Casio SA77 sits somewhere between the best budget beginner keyboard and a children's toy, packing 100 fun sounds, 5 drum pads, 50 rhythm tracks, and a pedigree from a long-standing industry leader in keyboard design. It sports a compact 44 key design that functions using a separately sold AC adapter or 6 AA batteries, making it a good practice and songwriting tool for taking on the road. It's also not nearly as bulky as other more expensive beginner keyboards, which makes it an easy addition to small spaces and homes. Because it's a compact budget keyboard, the SA77 doesn't match the size, specifications, or sound capabilities of traditional pianos by any stretch. It features a toy-like appearance and construction, and its sounds are strictly for fun. This may put a damper on a new keyboardist's ability to excel at and connect with the instrument at large. Still, its low price and user-friendly interface make it a fantastic choice for cultivating musical interest and acquaintance in young children, as well as a great option for older players who want a reasonably priced secondary keyboard for fleshing out ideas or techniques. The number 6 position is dominated by Lisa's Recital Pro 88 Key Digital Piano Keyboard. For the best learning experience, it's hard to argue with the 88 Key Alesis Recital Pro. Right out of the box, the Recital Pro impressed with its sturdiness and build quality. The Alesis was the best sounding keyboard of the models we tested, nearly recreating the authentic sounds of an actual piano. The keyboard's hammer action weighted keys will help beginners transition to a traditional piano, if they so desire, without issue that the keys can be adjusted to increase or reduce the keyboard's feedback allows for a customizable playing experience with feedback that can be tinkered with at the drop of a hat. The Recital Pro's controls are straightforward. The number of physical buttons are kept to a minimum in an effort to keep new students from becoming overwhelmed by the number of features on offer. There are 11 additional voices and instrument sounds available in the Recital Pro. All are easily accessible through the keyboard's buttons with either a single or double tap. While this might not be as many sounds as other keyboards in this guide offer, the Recital Pro makes up for it by making its sound options so easy to work with and by ensuring that each of the 11 available sounds professional grade. The instrument's ability to split the keyboard into creating essential 244 key pianos from a single 88 key keyboard means that an instructor can help demonstrate a lesson while the student follows along. Digital tutorials though are handled by third parties. Alesis offers three months of SCOOV premium tutorials for free and two months of take lessons video lessons for free with the purchase of the keyboard. For beginning and seasoned pianists, the Alesis Recital Pro offers nearly everything they need to take their playing to the next level with a keyboard that's built to last. Moving on to the next and number seven with Casio CTX 761 Key Portable Keyboard. The Casio CTX 700 is an amazing value. The 61 key keyboard comes with a huge library of sounds, touch sensitive keys, and an easier to understand interface on the top of the keyboard that's not completely overwhelming like offerings from other companies. For beginners, the CTX700 brings multiple ways to help them learn how to play and read music. The display houses a treble and bass clef image that indicates what key and its corresponding note are being played. For those learning to read music, it's an easy way to quickly figure out where exactly they need to be on the keyboard. Casio's subscription, free Cordana Play Companion app for iPhone and Android provides lessons on how to play songs. Unlike some free apps from other musical instrument makers, Cordana Play actually works as advertised. When playing a song, it notes that students need to play fall from the top of their smartphone or tablet screen. 
sort of like the video game Guitar Hero. It's an easy to use app that also supports users importing MIDI files to play with and can connect with streaming audio services so students can play along to their favorite songs. For those dabbling into the world of piano and keyboards, the Casio CTX 700 offers up a ton of useful and easy to use features in a package that sounds great and won't break the bank. It's just enough keyboard to find out if you want to continue learning or you're just happy making weird noises in your garage. The number 8 position is held by Casio, 61 Key Portable Keyboard. For next level tutorials that include a fun light show, the 61 Key Casio Casiodon LKS250 delivers. It supports the same tutorial companion app as the CTX700 but in addition to an on-display layout of the keyboard. The LKS250 also has keys that glow red to indicate where the player should place their fingers. Using light to help teach people how to play a song has been around for decades is a quick way to give new players the satisfaction of playing a song at a quicker pace and, potentially, give them a lifelong desire to play the piano. The LKS250 moves away from the trend of placing a multitude of buttons and information on the face of the keyboard. It has tip-top sound quality, and the caliber of the build makes the LKS250 a prime candidate for transporting the keyboard to other locations thanks in part to the handle that's revealed when the music rest is removed. Next at number 9, we have Roland Go. Piano 88 Key Full-Size Portable Digital Piano Keyboard The 88 Key Full-Size Roland Go Piano brings outstanding sound quality and battery life to the table with its use of 6 d size batteries. Where things start to fall apart is Roland's companion app and tutorials. The Piano Partner 2 iOS and Android app is largely a frustrating affair that's incredibly buggy. On most occasions, you need multiple taps to select something, and getting it to pair with the keyboard was difficult if it even worked at all then great text on an off-white background is a bad decision for readability. Playing the Roland Go piano is an enjoyable experience, but still falls shy of the key feel of offers from Donner and Alesis. When lifted, the keyboard doesn't feel as solidly constructed as other keyboards in its price range due to its lightweight. The button layout on the Go piano's face is minimalistic, and the ability to split the keyboard between two players makes it good for working with a tutor. Bluetooth MIDI support is also welcome, but it's best used with other software besides the companion app. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Yamaha S361 Key Portable Keyboard. Like the Yamaha PSR373, the XC300's top user interface is a cavalcade of physical buttons and information that's overkill for a keyboard meant for beginners. Add to this the fact that the keyboard's companion app is a horrible experience due to its poor readability and difficulty to use. What the XE300 does have going for it, however, is its light-up keys, which help build confidence and skills as they work through the keyboard's build-in tutorials. The EXE300's keys glow red right along in time with the tutorial song being played, making it easy for learners to play along. That said, the quality of the keys feels subpar when compared to the other piano keyboards we tested for this guide. However, the overall construction of the device lends itself to being dragged from location to location. Unfortunately, the EXE 300 ships without a power supply. What's more, it tied for dead last in our battery rundown test. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.